All right, all right, all right. Before you click away, no, I do not think lightsaber duels are better in the sequels. I mean, come on. That's awesome. The prequels had a different story reason for being so flourishing and excellent in their dueling. It had been the result of a High Republic ruling like a thousand years. But notice what happens when Rey turns on Anakin's lightsaber in The Force Awakens. And that's where it is. Science time! Lightsabers can't really exist in a room like they do in Star Wars. For the core to be so bright, the whole room would light up. But let's say for a second that, much like how they're able to keep the plasma laser beam in a certain shape, the Jedi and Sith also have the technology to optimize light fall off and change the parameters of how light works. That is, after all, part of Star Wars. Well, in that case, the prequels and even the original trilogy are missing a crucial element of what's going on in the sequels when it comes to lightsabers, and that is color fall off. Color fall off! When you turn on a strong blue light, it should color what's around it, and it should do so in the matter that's consistent with the three-dimensional parameters. Here you can see a scene from our upcoming film, The Plague of Metrias, in which the main character, Tenebrae, later known as Vitiate, is controlling a lightsaber with the use of his mind. Notice what happens before and after I animate the red light in 3D. That would have been basically a secondary render, and back when the prequels were made, that was no simple issue. So in this episode, I'm gonna apply the color falloff, as well as some secondary elements of what makes lightsabers so cool in the prequels. Now let's do this with one of my favorite shots of all time in a Star Wars movie. Awesome. But as you may see, while the lightsabers turn on, they also flicker. This is according to Star Wars lore, a function of the lightsaber. You can make it more or less stable either with the nature of the color crystal or the length setting on the side of the hilt. But that should also be powering the amount of energy output, so that's another thing that we're gonna change. So first, we're gonna isolate the movement of the lightsabers. Secondly, I'm applying the light sources in 2.5D space. Then we're gonna work the coloring and flicker. Now it's important to notice that the lightsabers also affect the glow of the air around them, so we're gonna emulate that here as well. This in turn should affect the lighting on the characters track through the shot. Finally, we're gonna apply the glow over a mat of the characters. Now here's the shot before, and here's the shot afterwards. It's not much, but you can clearly tell that the lightsabers have dimension and flair to them. That seems about right for lightsabers. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked this video, remember to give a like and a subscribe for future notifications. Also, remember to check out our movie, The Plague of Metrias. We really want to get this movie made, and with your help, we can get it there. Thanks a lot.